Hey, what's up, Musers, and Merry Christmas. This is John at muse for You here to help you build awesome websites without code. And in this video tutorial, I'm going to show you how to add snowflakes to your Adobe Muse website using the particles.js widget found at museforyoushop.com. So as you can see here, I have an example site, and we have snowflakes coming down. And I figured it's pretty, uh, it's pretty good timing for the season uh, with Christmas coming up. So these snowflakes have been added with the particles.js widget and I actually have a particles.js widget Christmas edition that comes with the snowflakes pre-built into them. But I'll also show you how to do it uh, with the particles.js widget um, like from, from the beginning. Uh, so in this video tutorial, uh, we're going to be recreating this website and I'll also be showing you how to access the particles.js widget found at museforyoushop.com. So let's begin. So to access the particles.js widget, you simply go to museforyoushop.com and then you can click on the pop-up here. And here you can subscribe. You can click here to subscribe and get access to all widgets and any new widgets I come out with for $39 a year. And you can also subscribe with PayPal by clicking here. Or you can purchase the widget individually by clicking here. I have the particles.js widget, the Christmas edition. So if I click on it, uh, you can click on add to cart to purchase the widget individually or again you can get access to all widgets and any new widgets i come out with uh, for only 39 a year very good so once you get the uh the the widget you'll get it in a zip file and you simply extract the zip file and then there'll be a dot mulib file in that zip file and you double click it and it will install directly into adobe muse so i'm going to open up my adobe muse website i have a blank site here and to access the widget, you simply go to library. If you don't see the library panel, you can go to window and then click library. So I'll scroll down in my library panel and I'll look for particles.js widget uh, Christmas edition. I'll click the drop down and here I have access to the widget. So now I'll simply click, hold and drag and place onto my Adobe Muse website. And I'll click allow and that's it. That's all you have to do to get snowflakes on your Adobe Muse website. So let me make the background a different color. Or actually, I'll fill the background with that image by going to Browser Fill, and then down here where it says Image, you click, and then you add the image here. You can add the, the image there. And I'll scale to Fill, position it in the center, and I'll take off scrolling. So now I'll go to File, Preview Page, and Browser. And that's it, I have snowflakes. All right, very good. So to change the height of this container for the snowflakes, we'll just open the widget options and we'll set the container height to, let's say, 1,000. Okay, and I'll go to File, Preview Page, and Browser. And as we can see, the snowflakes fill the entire browser. And that's all there is to it. That's how you add snowflakes to your Adobe Muse website. Now I'll show you how to add the snowflakes manually. Let's say you have the particles.js widget. Uh, you can just simply uh, download a PNG of a snowflake. So I'm going to delete this widget. I'm going to go to my library panel and I'll go to the particles.js widget, just the, the regular one, which is right down here, 1.1. And I'll click, hold and drag and place onto my Adobe Muse website. Okay. So if we look, we have particles here instead of the snowflakes. So I'll go to file, preview page and browser. And here we just have particles and they're just kind of moving uh, and it has interactivity. Um, yeah, so we, we kind of don't want that. We want snowflakes instead. So I'm going to change a few of the options in the uh, particles.js widget options. So everything is good here. I'm going to take the, we don't need to worry about the particle color. Uh, one thing I do want to take off is the line link. I want to take that off. And we also need a snowflake. So you can go to like freepick.com and just type in snowflake and they have a bunch of different snowflakes there. I'll type in uh, snowflake and as you can see we have these nice little snowflakes here. So um, I've already downloaded a snowflake so I'm just going to go grab it real quick. Okay so I have this snowflake here and I just cropped it in Illustrator and great yep I think I got this from freepick.com as well. Um, yeah they just have a bunch of nice snowflakes there. Uh, so there I have my snowflake. So to add the snowflake to the particles.js, we just click on the widget and for select an image for shape, I'll click add file and I'll just go to the snowflake here. So I've added the snowflake 
And for the particle shape, we'll say image so that it looks for the image. And there we go, we have snowflakes. So now we just wanna change the particle size, we'll say 20 right here to make the snowflakes bigger. And then for the move direction, we'll say bottom because we want, to, we want it to go from the top to the bottom. And for the speed, we're gonna make it a little bit slower. So the move speed, we'll set it to two. And that's it. So we go to file, preview page and browser, and we have snowflakes. Also, we don't want any interactivity because as you can see, the snowflakes uh, kind of re repulse when I put my mouse over them. So we'll just go to the widget options and enable interactivity on hover, we'll uncheck that. And enable inter interactivity on click, we'll uncheck that. So I'll go to file, preview page and browser. And there it is, we have snowflakes falling down using the particles.js widget. And also I wanna make the container of the particles a bit bigger. So I'll say 1000 and I'll go to file, preview page and site in browser. And there it is, I have snowflakes using the particles.js widget. And then I'll just write Merry Christmas just to give it a little bit more styling. Merry Christmas. I'll select the text, I'll make it 48, let's do uh, 60. And for the font, I'll select this uh, Serena font here. And I'll change the color to kind of a darker red there. Perfect, Merry Christmas. Okay, and I'll just move this over to the right a little bit. And then I'll arrange, send to back, very good. File, preview page and browser. And there we go, Merry Christmas. And we have snowflakes there. Uh, so yeah, you can add Snowflakes to your Adobe Muse website using the particles.js widget. Uh, you can purchase the Christmas edition and just simply drag and drop onto your Adobe Muse website. So again, to access this widget, you simply go to museforyoushop.com. Then you can click on the pop-up here. And again, you can click here to subscribe and get access to all widgets and any new widgets I come out with for $39 a year. Or if you'd like to use PayPal, you can click here and use PayPal. Or you can purchase the widget individually by clicking on the particles.js widget Christmas edition, click and clicking add to cart here. Or again, get all widgets and any new widgets I come out with for 39 a year. All right, very good. You can also just purchase the regular particles.js widget down here as well. So you can purchase this one or the Christmas edition. Very good. So that's it for this video tutorial on adding snowflakes to your Adobe Muse website. Uh, again, I do this to help you build awesome, awesome websites without code. If you like this video tutorial, you can subscribe below. Also in the show more section below are links to other resources and uh, links to museforyoushop.com. So again, thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video tutorial.